हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स लर्न द सेकंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ पेपर वन ऑफ जी एडवांस 2023 इट इज फ्रॉम द चैप्टर कोनिक सेक्शंस एंड इट इज इंडीड एन इजी क्वेश्चन ऑफ जी एडवांस बिकॉज़ ऑल यू नीड टू नो टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इज इक्वेशन ऑफ टेंजेंट इन स्लोप फॉर्म टू बोथ द कर्व्स सो यू नो दैट इक्वेशन ऑफ टेंजेंट टू पैराबोला इज y is equals to mx plus a by m for the parabola y square is equals to 4 ax if we compare it to the 12x then the value of a here is 3 so the equation of tangent in slope form to the parabola will be y is equals to mx plus 3 by m. all right now let us look at the ellipse for the ellipse the equation of tangent in slope form is y is equals to mx plus minus square root of a square m square plus b square where the equation of ellipse is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equals to 1 if you compare you will get the value of a square and b square is 6 and 3 correspondingly so the equation of tangent will be y is equals to mx plus minus square root of 6 m square plus 3 now if it is a common tangent right you want to find the common tangents to the ellipse and the parabola then you just equate the y intercept because rest everything is the same so we have 3 by m is equals to plus minus under root of 6 m square plus 3 or if you cross multiply and square you will get 9 is equals to m square times 6m square plus 3. If you solve this, you will get 6m raised to the power 4 plus 3m square minus 9 is equals to 0. So you can break it up as uh, 9n minus 6. All right, 6m raised to the power 4 plus 9m square minus 6m square minus 9m minus 9 is equals to 0. So either you can take common as 3m square. So we'll get 2m square plus 3, or you can take a minus 3 common, and again 2m square plus 3 is equals to 0. Now, of course, this factor cannot be 0 for any real x, and the remaining factor, 3m square minus 3, can be equals to 0 for m is equals to plus minus 1. So the real values of m that I got is 1 or minus 1, and if you substitute these values. in any of these equations it is easy to put it that put them in this equation you get the equation of both the tangents so let me write the equations of both the tangents all right so the equations of tangent 1 and tangent 2 are tangent 1 uh tangent 1 will turn out to be uh, y is equals to uh, if you put m equals to 1 then you'll have x plus 3 And t two can be y is equals to if you put m equals to minus one then minus x minus three. Now you also want to find the corresponding points of contact because uh, let us say for tangent t one the corresponding points are a one and a two at parabola and it is ellipse respectively, and tangent t two cuts the parabola and ellipse at a four and a three respectively. Now you have to look at the order very carefully because uh, if you don't look at the order uh, correctly then you will be you will have trouble okay so a1 and a4 are the corresponding points of contact for parabola now for parabola if you go about a parametric form then the relation between t and m of a tangent is t is equals to 1 by m all right so the corresponding t1 and t2 parametric coordinates of parabola will be 1 and minus 1 corresponding to these values of m and the corresponding points then will be a t1 square comma 2 a t1 And a t two square comma two a t two. Okay, so if you put the value of a as three and t as one and minus one, so you'll get three comma six and three comma minus six. So you can call them a one and a four. This point is a one. This point is a four. Similarly, if you want to find the corresponding points on ellipse, what you can do is. you can write the equation of tangent of ellipse in point form so it will be x x1 by a square which is 6 plus y y1 by b square which is 3 is equals to 1 and compare it with the equation let us say x minus y so x by 3 minus y by 
is equals to 1. All right, x upon you can say minus 3 and minus y, uh, sorry, plus y upon 3 is equals to 1. All right, uh, so if you compare it with x, x1 upon 6 plus y, y1 by 3, you'll get x1 as minus 2 and y1 as 1. So that is one point of contact. Uh, let us call it what? A2. And the next point of contact will turn out to be minus 2 comma minus 1. If you compare it with the, the equation that x upon minus 3 plus y upon minus 3 is equals to 1. Uh, with xx1 upon 6, it will be minus 2 comma minus 1. So a3 will be minus 2 comma minus 1. Now you can draw all of these points on the coordinate plane. And then find whichever the area it is asking about. And the point of intersection of tangents if you want to find. Then you can simply equate the y's and you'll get uh, 2x as uh, minus 6. So x is minus 3 comma 0. So the option number C is correct. Okay, it was a simple one. And if, find, if you want to find the area of quadrilateral A1, A2, A3, A4, let me just mark these points in the coordinate plane. Okay, so we have 3 comma 6 and 3 comma minus 6 and then minus 2 comma 1 and then minus 2 comma minus 1. All right. So let us say minus 2 comma 1 and minus 2 comma minus 1. If you join these four points. Alright, you will get this. Uh, you know, uh, trapezium actually. This figure, this quadrilateral is turning out to be a trapezium. Whose coordinates of endpoints are minus 2 comma minus 1. Okay, minus 2 comma 1. This is... 3 comma uh, minus 6 and this is 3 comma 6. You can see that these two sides are parallel, they are vertical. And the distance between these lines, distance between the parallel lines is 3 uh, plus 2 that is 5. This side is one parallel side is 6 plus 6 12. Another parallel side is 1 plus 1 that is 2. And what is the area of trapezium? Half into sum of parallel sides that is 2 plus 12 into height that is 5. So it will be 7, 5 is 35 units which is your option number 